I'm gonna try to make this into some kind of hash. But the dog's interested, so it has to be food on some level. And my wife's very interested as this has occupied a good chunk of the kitchen. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. -mm. So I am gonna use a good chunk of this for uh, my cooking tonight. But I'm gonna try to eat this raw off the bat. This base does not breed commons. Okay. Smells like dog food, which is why the dog's <laughs> right there. It's obviously not for you. Uh, so just pulverized, dehydrated beef, a little bit of blueberries, and... It's the blueberries that confuse me. It's for flavor. <laughs> you know, it's actually not that bad. I mean... This is what I imagine Soylent Green would taste like. So it's people. You know, if you told me it was people, I would have no frame of reference. <laughs> the right off the hop, there's no flavor, but <laughs> dog's very concerned. As you chew it, you do get. A nice beefy after this and honestly I, I don't taste any blueberry it could be that I didn't get any but there is something sweet in there it's not as bad as I imagined it would be do you want to try some deer just a little bit yeah you yeah do. and then I think the dog feels like she should get some it's literally just pure fat she probably shouldn't have some Like, it's, it's food. You're gonna taste a towel. Tallow. That's what I said. It sounds like towel. Well, if I was starving. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, it, if this doesn't go bad, you can make pounds of it at a time. If it's that or starving to death, it is a lot of work, though. Well, like for this, this was a... like a month-long project. Yeah, but that's because this is my first time. Um, a lot of Métis and Plains folk would make, would go out, kill a whole herd of buffalo, and render down the entire herd into pemmican. And the dog seems really, really interesting. Why don't we just give you a little itty bitty? I don't know if the dog liking it plays in your favor. Well, again, they, they say if you need a survival food, bring dog food because it's edible. A little pop. Definitely edible, but it's not so good that you would eat it all at once. The idea being that, you know, it would last longer because it's not as tasty. You know what? I'm going to have another chunk. I'm just glad it's leaving the kitchen, to be fair. Panic it! What I have done is put a couple chunks of uh, pemmican in with a diced potato and some onion, salt, pepper, and just a touch of water to make a bit of a sauce. I'm gonna have to top that up, but this is actually looking and smelling pretty, uh, pretty good. I'm kind of excited to try this. Apparently, this is called a Rousseau, I think. I don't speak French. And this is just sort of what you have. You put in the pot, fry it up. The uh, tallow acts as just about all the oil you need. So again. Iron ration. It's good. First time. We'll see. And here's the fruits of our labor. Uh, took a while to cook the potatoes. I should have diced them up a bit uh, smaller. But it's food. Um, definitely what I would call edible. Um, 
Yeah, not too much to say. It's it's food, and if it can last me through the winter, then I'm sure it could last somebody else who is in a bit more dire need. Pemmican. That's it.